Hey everybody, so it's Louisa here, and I'm in another Facebook uh, group swap through Crafters with Artitude. And this is actually a one on one, and I have partnered up again with Olga Vasquez. We had such a great time on our last swap that we just went ahead and decided to go ahead and just swap again in this group swap that is um, hosted by, um, by Betty. Uh, it's called Santa's Workshop Swap. So, I usually like to do my projects early when I'm, whenever I'm in a swap. So, I just wanted to get it going. So, the main part of my swap is pretty much done, which is the eight embellishments, handmade embellishments for Christmas. And um, Olga and I just kind of, we talked it over and decided what we kind of um, would like. So... I put my eight embellishments into four different packages and on the other item is like a, a Christmas, like a little gift, you know, like a little gift exchange. <clears throat> so that's the, I'm going to finish packing this and then do the gift part and then just, you know, put everything all together really nice. So I forgot that I needed to record this and I started to put these in these little sleeves here that I have. I picked these up a long time ago. They don't even have the little sticky tape on top, but... Let me just pull these out for you. Now, I can only tell you what I know as far as like what dyes I use and everything. I do not know the majority of the brand names or where I got everything because I've had most of these items in my stash since last year. So whatever I do know, I will let, you know show you pretty much. So the cards that they're on right now, I, that, that I could tell you. I found this at Joann's on clearance and it's a postage stamp frame. Um, I think you could see the info there. Let's see. Yeah, you can. And again, I saw, I found this on clearance. It was, let me see if I still got the packaging, because this is the first time I tried using it. There's no price on it. But here's the packaging. It's going in the trash, so once that happens, then in a few months, I'll forget what it's called. But um, it's a nice size um, die and it's a large postage stamp so I thought I would use that as my backing instead of putting all eight on one thing because I you know this particular one right here is like huge I figured let me just separate them and then put them in little baggies and then I'll put that into something else once I figure out what that's going to be but I mainly wanted to make sure that I have my embellishments made and I stuck with this color scheme as you can see which is all like a light blue silver gold and white it just makes me think of a snowy you know wintry Christmas um so I should have let's see uh, I'll just kind of show you the um this thing first and it does emboss a line you know like a little frame line there and I did ink my edges whatever I have inked I use this frayed frayed burlap distress ink um, if I glittered something it was with this Stampendous um, Frantage multi crystal glitter mix that I found at Hobby Lobby so it's a really nice and sparkly glitter and I also use my Winter Stella okay come on which now lately I haven't been using as much you know it's funny how you start using something and you're all into it you can't stop using it and then you stop using it <laughs> So, the Wink of Stella. And I also use some gold, um, this deco art, deco color gold marker pen. And then I used my punches. Here is a stamp punch from Fiskars. I got that at Joann's. These other two are EK Success. I'm not quite sure. They could have been Michael's, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby. Um, but I did use this jar one that I've had for quite some time now. And then this ticket punch. So I use those. So I do have favorites as far as punches go. And let's see. The deer is not a die or a punch. It's actually an embellishment that um, I had picked up last year as well. And I want to say it's from Recollections from Michaels. But it was all... I, you know, I have it out of the package already, so it was all this stuff. So there's different deer, 
in different positions and then there's the reindeer head so I used two of these to make it sturdy they got some snowflakes in here and gold and silver and then these really cool stars which I also use a star for one of these for this one here um, I also use a gingerbread die which I have no idea where it came from but let's see if I can find one here and it does punch out the face and buttons too but those are way too small for me to deal with so I just use my white gel pen to do the face and then I ink the edges with that frayed burlap um, here I use another die that looks like this and I only cut them in this glitter and the foiled gold I don't know what die that was I did use one of these stars they come in three different sizes again I don't know what die that is and some words I have happy holidays there was a Merry Christmas there's a Noel and then there's a joy and I think that was it so and I, I believe that was Spellbinders die that I found at Joann's but that's all I know <laughs> and honestly just Google whatever you would like you know to find you don't have to get the same exact one that I have they've got so many different ones um, so many different brands and places you can find them at so that's what I do I do my research I just go online and Google everything and let's see what else there was another die again I don't know what name or where it came from um, I'm not even sure if I got this last year or just a few months ago but it's a set of three snowflakes I did use a Hobby Lobby glitter paper and I popped them up together you don't have to use them together but I thought they looked great like that together and then I put a little bling uh, hat pack pearl and I just I made three of them so one of them is in here I did use some Tim Holtz um, strip dies the rosette ones and I'm trying to pull it out I used a snowflake one and then I use the regular rosette which comes with two sizes this is the smallest one so I think I think this snowflake one if I'm not mistaken um, Tammy SS crafter once sent it to me last year and look at how you could just layer everything together the papers that I use I forgot to share with you for these backgrounds here I use this festive sparkle it's the paper studio so if you ever hear me say paper studio that is Hobby Lobby and then we got Craftsmith Crystal Frost. We used that. And then that's for, I don't know what parts I used it for. But then the last one, I think I also used this one, Winter Frost. May or may not have because I've also made a few other things. Oh, maybe I think I did use this. But this is Winter Frost from Recollections, also from Michaels. Um... I previously had other things already made like this bow and stuff like that so that would be a file um, through the silhouettes store so okay back to here I ink the edges like I mentioned and I just use a single layer of the cardstock um, so here is that punch the jar punch which I also cut the lid separately just to give it that you know more realistic look ink the edges there's that little I don't know what kind of leaf that is I can't think right now and then this little bow here is actually an ornament that I snipped off the little loop um, not sure where I got that from either <laughs> here's that reindeer it's two layers of the pieces there oh I did forget to share with you this bow die I mean bow punch which is a Martha Stewart bow punch I found that at Hobby Lobby so I layered that on the deer with a halfback pro and then I just gathered a few little flowers that are from Hobby Lobby as well so I did that this large one I love this one it's a very big embellishment oh and I did pop up everything on a small little pop top so it could be pulled off and and used anyway this um, large embellishment is one piece I use one of those large cupcake liners um, that I found at Walmart and it makes this really nice size rosette. If you follow my tutorial on how I made this, I have a start to finish. I have a couple but recently I, I posted one. 
Following that, you get this really nice, you know, uh, wave and everything, and it would come out to like a four inch rosette. And I just, I love this size because you can layer so much on it. And what I did was I took another rosette that I created. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's a very pale, um, almost transparent cupcake liner. I layered this Dollar Tree trim. I, I just recently shared that on a haul video. Put one of those die cuts from uh, Recollections here. I put the die that I had cut, the larger star. And then this piece here came with a few other pieces. It came with this flower and some of these snowflakes from a package. Oh, I think I got rid of that package too. I just, you know, I can't stand. Here we go. I think it was this package here from Recollections from last year maybe. Um, I'm not sure if it was last year or not, but I think it was. And um, Muriel sent me this package, I believe. That's Miss Cooper's Coop. So I was able to use that whole package on these um, embellishments. And it already comes, you know, with a little bling and it was like perfect. So, and the person can actually just use it, the whole thing as it is and plop it on one card and be done with it. Or take it off and do something with this, the person, Olga. <laughs> um, let's go to this one here. You see the really pretty paper. All of these again are from that Hobby Lobby paper. So here, this one right here. Um, <clears throat> is was the easiest one to make. It's one flower, this back cream colored flower here that is like a knit flower with some fuzz stuff. That came from um, Natasha Scrapbook Corner and I, I don't think she's open yet. Um, she'll be reopening her shop soon. And then I just layered that blue flower that came out of that Recollections um, packet. So that is done. Here, I previously made a whole bunch of these, uh, like, triple um, looped bows with the tails. And I use a different paper that I didn't show, but it is from Hobby Lobby. No, yeah, Hobby Lobby, I believe. And I layered a couple of those felt snowflakes with a halfback pearl. I do not know which um, file that was, but... Um, it is a file from the Silhouette store. So the last card is, there's three embellishments on this one. Okay, somebody's like right outside my window talking. It's really annoying. I don't know why they got to be talking outside of people's windows. So here is that ticket punch. And then I put one of those word dies. It says Noel. Two little tiny ornaments from Hobby Lobby. And then a another um, little layered um, snowflake with a pearl on it. The snowflakes again from that Recollections pack. Here is that snowflake that I showed you earlier. I didn't do anything to it. I just pooped it, popped it on here. And then here is the star that is from that Recollections pack. And everything got popped out. This is that ticket where I put a little bit of the gold um, marker and then here is that cute little gingerbread. Um, again, ink the edges and then use my gel pen to, you know, fill him in or, you know, do his face and buttons. And then there's that little flourish there. Everything is very dimensional. And especially this one here, this is like really thick. It can be popped onto any projects. And it only has that little tiny pop dot, so you can just pluck it off and use it. Hi everybody, I am back with my finished project and some other things that I put together. Um, so, I packaged all the um, embellishments that I had created for Olga, and I put them in this bag that, I believe it's a Recollections bag, and it's a pretty wide gusset. That's why I use it, because it's nice and wide. It's small. But it's wide and all my um, four packages that I made that I put together for my embellishments all fit in there. Plus I was able to put a couple of the wands which I did do a video on these wands here. I wanted to add some wands somewhere in everything that I'm sending her. But I also created this and I know i seen it online, I mean on YouTube and I thought I had saved it but I cannot find that video. 
but I think it's create create for life or something like that who had done something similar to this so it's pretty much like the coiled um, uh, what do you call it pipe cleaners that I've done in the past but just a wider coil so I just used the widest thing that I had available which I don't know what the heck I used oh <laughs> I actually used my Winka Stella I used this the middle part of that but anything that's you know wide enough and then you just you know coil it around and I've stuck the three together and put some hot glue on the tips of them and then just pushed it into my straw I did cut the straw down a little more just so it, everything would be layered and then I did also do the um, whitewash this with some gesso which in my previous uh, wand video I shared that that I had done that to the other ones so this just is going to fit in here and she could take those out and put them in a glass you know or a cup or something if she wants to display it and what I did here was this is a Dollar Tree ornament um, left it as it is so she could use it and I just pinned it or clipped it with this like skeleton type of binder clip that I have um, no clue where I got this probably somebody gave it to me but I just clipped it plus it's also keeping my package somewhat close so in the, um, when I'm going to actually wrap this in tissue and then put it in a box with everything else so there is my finished packaging for the embellishments so then part of the swap is to give each other some Christmas gifts and um, she mentioned we asked each other what we would like um, and she mentioned she likes you know trims like lace and uh, flowers and she also mentioned liking my digital kits which I had no longer sold and I am contemplating on selling them again but I don't know if it's gonna happen this year or not we'll see but um, I didn't want to just throw my digitals you know in a regular bag or just wrap it in tissue I thought let me put it in something pretty and I remember I had bought a whole bunch of really pretty file folders from um, Tuesday morning and this perfectly matched what I was or the my color my color combos so it's a cream background it's got this really pretty design here that says dream big and inside is my kit I didn't print the entire thing I think I left out mainly the solid colors that were in here I believe and mostly did the pattern papers because the solid colors you can always use your own scrap your own paper um, and these are the cutouts which I did use I printed out a second set for myself and cut them out to use them in some projects so this particular kit was called sweet Christmas and she said she, you know she mentioned it when we were talking about our Christmas stuff so Again, I will just put one, you know, thing of tissue around this. Everything was going to get wrapped in tissue and then thrown in a box before I send it. So that's part of the swap. Um, the next thing that I did was I wanted to I wanted to send my lace a different way than I've sent before. Usually, I just wrap it up and put it in a baggie, and yeah, you know, I don't do too much. So I had previously bought from Walmart a pack of large craft sticks they kind of look like popsicle sticks but they're just big I don't have a uh, wait let me see if I have one here <clears throat> I'll show you the difference in size like this would be a regular size popsicle stick this is the jumbo and both of them they have them at Walmart and these you can usually, I think I found this at Dollar Tree. But the big ones, I think you get like 48, which is a lot. I found at Walmart and I was thinking to do the, use this for something else. But since you get so many, I'm like, what am I going to do with so many of these? And I thought, you know what, why don't I just wrap around my lace around this? So, you know, sometimes you wrap them around like vintage style spools, those long ones. I don't have that. But I said, you know, I'm going to just wrap let me pull one out my trims and some of these are old i mean they're like tattered but that's the way i bought them from um a thrift store i got like big bundles of this stuff so it works perfectly and 
Let's see, one, two, four, six. I have eight of them in this really cute popcorn bag, which I couldn't remember where I got this, but after I started thinking, I remember that I picked this up at the Miami warehouses because once in a while I'll go over there with a friend of mine, but I haven't done that in a long time because I got so much stuff to work with here already. But this is like a perfect size. It's not too small, not too big, and it held all of these um sticks with my lace on them and i just used or pulled out like shabby chic colored trims for her just to keep with the the whole theme that i got going on on front here's one of my images which i you know printed cut out and then inked the edges with what's it called freight burlap from tim holtz and then I had cut out this Merry Christmas from some dyes that I have. I don't recall the brand of the dye. I do throw out packaging for most of what I buy nowadays because it just takes a lot of space. And I do have a bad memory, so I cannot tell you where it's from or who it's by. <laughs> so then over here, um, I just... This is all glued down. It's not going to come off. I glued a little bit of tinsel that I had left over. I don't even know if I have any more of this somewhere. And then a little like vintage gold bowl that I found. And I think I got that at Joann's. So really cute. She could just display this and pull things out as she needs them. Or if you want, you could put these in a nice little bowl. But I just thought that was cute. Again, I'll just wrap that in tissue and then put it in um, my box that I'm going to be shipping it out in. So the last one is, I. she also mentioned she liked flowers, so I'm going to go ahead and send her some flowers. And again, I want to see how can I send them. And I have a lot of these white lunch bags, which I think I got from Target a year or two ago. So I'm like, well, I'm going to throw them in here, but still I want to do something cute to this bag. So I filled it up with some flowers from Michael's and some Wild Orchid Craft and then just some other ones that I have. But to seal the top, let me just show you this way. Here's the whole view. I altered a huge clothespin. So this whole thing is a clothespin. I do have that out to share with you because I haven't, I don't use too much clothes because I have to keep reminding myself. See, I bought these not even that long ago and all of these I found at Tuesday morning. So when I got them, I was thinking Christmas. So I pulled those out to make sure that I'll try to use them for Christmas. And then these are DIY shop. They're just blank. And I left that color because it matches those, um, these things here and I didn't paint those left them as it is so what I did was I had already made a whole bunch of rosettes um, with cupcake liners and this is the large jumbo size one that I found at um, Walmart so I have these previously made I had you know my die cuts already previously cut I do not know what die that is I bought it last year at Joann's that much I do know um, and then these pieces here, this star and this snowflake, comes from an ephemera pack from um, Michael's from last year that I had picked up. And then this is one of my images. So I just glued everything together and made it like one large rosette. There's a um, pale blue rosette in there, which is from Dollar Tree. And there is some foam underneath the star and a thinner foam underneath the gingerbread um, tree and you know I just made a cute little arrangement on this which she could use on something else if she wants but I made it so that it was something pretty to hold my bag closed so I you know I just kind of placed my flowers in there in a way so that everything would kind of be squared off right here. You know, I didn't want too much bulkiness. So it's just a little bit of bulk on this side, but I was just trying to place it in nice, fold over that top, and then put my large clothespin. 
and everything together looks so pretty. So I'm going to, um, hold on one second. I'm going to try to show you how everything looks together. If I could just place things in a way. Hmm, what's back here? Something is keeping this from standing up. And I'll just take my camera up. Okay. I guess like right there will be good. All right, so let me just move my camera. You can see my leg, and there we go. So there's all my packaging and everything ready to. All I'm gonna do again is just put some tissue around everything and then put it in a box. And the only reason why I'm gonna wrap it in tissue is just in case in the box things don't start slipping out, and then when you open it up, everything is all over the place. So you wanna always wrap things one more time and I think everything looks so well together yeah I, I guess I went with a shabby chic Christmas theme so that is my um, swap projects for Olga for the group uh, crafters with artitude on uh, Facebook and Betty is the one hosting she it's actually her Facebook group as well um, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.